Okay, Sonia and Wayne uh, Aller, go ahead. Oh, okay. Take off, eh? Well, uh, first I wanted to, uh, I want to thank very much Robert, with whom I've been corresponding via email, because for actually this process has been going on uh, for us to figure out how to best, uh, you know, dispose of all of this material that we have. And, and he's been very kind in responding to my emails and I was so excited to learn about this show because I've been looking to see what is happening with Commodore over the years. So, so thank is, you. Thank you, Robert, Robert very much. He's been very uh, proud and good man. really appreciated and I was very excited that there, was a, there were these events. We didn't know. Our story is very uh, old, older than maybe couple of you that are <laughs> probably not, not born yet. <laughs> so this was from uh, 1983, okay? Mm. So you figure out how... It was before the Omega came out. Mm. So, Omega. so anyway, so, so our story is as when we'll go. It starts in 1983. Um, yeah, sure. Well, basically, we, uh, I'd had a little experience with uh, apples and realized that Commodore 64 sure. was better than me than the Apple II at that time, so we decided to start this uh, little uh, endeavor to teach kids how to program using primarily basic, but for the really young kids, logo. So that's what we did. We set up a storefront in Studio City, and uh, it was interesting. Mort Saul's kids were in oh, our class. Wow. Uh, Hanks. Tom Hanks' kid. Oh. Uh, who else? I think I mentioned it here. Anyway, Frank Zappa's kid. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we had some interesting uh, Moon, students. Moon Unit Zappa and yeah, yeah, yeah Moon and uh, Dweezil Dweezil Zappa. Okay. Anyway, so well, I'm sorry. What was the name of your storefront? It was CompuLearn. Hmm. CompuLearn. Yeah. yeah. So we were here for one year. We had uh, we're sort of uh, in academia, so um, in teaching at the university level and so forth. We were here for one year from Indiana. So um, when uh, the weather was so different here, so... <laughs> she said, we're not going back we're to Indiana. Back. We're staying in California. And then, uh, this is the weather I had grown up with. So, and Indiana weather got really tricky in terms of the, uh, you know, snow and ice storm. Well, no. but, so we started this in hopes of being able to you know, stay here and do something uh, different, and uh, so that's how it started. So he went, put everything up from scratch, built the tables, got the chairs all the way to Upland and back, you know, zillion yeah, times to to set it up. It was a nice setup, and uh, so we tried to hire a couple of teachers to help us out because I was. I couldn't do it the first year because I was at UCLA full time on a fellowship, and uh, and so we started that way and it went okay the first year. But then, as you know, you know, these kinds of endeavors uh, need c continued financial, uh, you know, well, support. to be honest, that. it didn't go that well because we was, weren't uh, here enough to teach and. I don't know that we ever made a profit. No, no, right. It was I mean, a non-profit. It wasn't intended that way. But <laughs> yeah, so we have to find teachers who could, you yeah. know, once, you know yeah. they have different schedules. So, but I think overall the kids who came really liked it, enjoyed it, their parents yeah, were happy. Yeah, did. So forth. So and it was really the only, there was one other big company that had just started with the teaching uh, computers. I can't remember. I've I been trying to remember it. I'm an so, expert in human memory, but I can't remember. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's that's what it was. And so finally when we decided that we needed to uh, close it down, uh, I stayed and I had a, a new job here and, I, and he went back to his university because once you come for a sabbatical, as you know, you have to go back and, well, you're, and, you're, and you're do another. You're expected to, it's not to written, go, but yeah. To go and, and stay and teach one more year there. So he did, he went back to Indiana and during that time I was managing the, the school, finding new teachers, signing up, and he would come uh, at every break, you know, semester break or holiday break and whatnot, and do uh, and do camps, computer mm. camps, and uh, those went pretty well. Mm. But it was a lot to do, a lot of you know, management and so forth. So finally, 
we decided that you know we would have to really close it, and he came, and so he started teaching at Cal State. Yeah, by that time you were full time at uh, yeah, Children's at the, Hospital, and, and I was at uh, yeah, Ca so. Cal State Northridge. So that was it. So we that was it. Everything. So we, at the time, obviously tried to you know get the sell whatever was left and so forth, but not all of it. Yeah, we didn't just teach. We sold quite a bit yeah, of software and some software, computers. You know. So th these are remnants of that uh, enterprise, so to speak. Can, uh, so did, they've been in storage for all this time. Do you advertise in the computer magazines? We did not. Oh, no. okay. We were both no. so busy with you know, teaching. You mean and at that new, time? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was it was a lot. We so should have probably. Just, yeah. We did. So anyway. What was the maximum number of students that you had in your class? I uh, think it your was maybe four or four five. Or five. Yeah. A few more. You had eight chairs, I think. I eight, had eight, eight chairs, eight I think, stations, but I don't yeah. know that they were all full. But all the time. You had eight Commodore 64 stations in your Compulent class? Nine. Yeah. Nine. 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 Well, one on the one mounted so that I could, you know, illustrate and use a, a monitor mounted up there. Were all, were all the computers separate or were they all connected no, as a... Were, I think they were separate. Oh, they were all separate, okay. And they each had their monitor. Mm. Yeah. So that's our story. <laughs> and, that's and, it. Oh, and, and, and then Wayne, you were, so you were a professor at uh, where exactly? Well, I was at Indiana State University. And then you uh, moved then, to then Cal State Northridge? Cal State Northridge, Northridge yes. And what was your uh, field of uh, teaching? Human cognition, memory, learning, <laughs> and developmental psycholinguistics. Whoa, that psycholinguistics. Was her, that was her specialty. Her, she has a minor, a PhD minor in linguistics and then a... Oh. Uh, interesting. In experimental psychology with memory and cognition oh, and that sort of Interesting. Thing, yeah. You could teach me yeah. something because I, I had a minor in English linguistics. Oh, wow. oh yes, yeah. there you go. Of course. Yeah. So, so you know about Chomsky. Oh, yes. <laughs> Transformative. Right. So, yes. Yes. Well, for the past 30 years, I've been working with kids with speech language pathology. So, having to do with language, of course, again, and uh, processing and all of that. So, so anyway, that's our that's, story. That's we are not Commodore experts. <laughs> and, and we, you know, looking to see, as I said, the best way to, if, if yeah. we don't know, I mean, find the use, use for it. Yeah, right. we've right. been on the, online looking at, you know, eBay this and the other thing. And Kyrie, it's eBay, very see what to, things are selling for. But. And, and, and also figuring out, and you guys would know this best, that's why I mean, I think, in terms of really uh, usefulness, so to speak, what, what is the current use, what could be, if yeah. any, usefulness of uh, this old stuff? Right. We had some children yesterday come to the show. And so that would have been interesting for them. But we don't have any children today. No, we, saw, we saw two of them here. Yeah. Yes, that was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but in terms of, I don't mean just the, the using them as they are, but what, what else could what else can they be used for or useful to? Or is there a museum? Or <laughs> uh, the, the nearest museum is the, the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, up there in the... Uh, the okay. East Bay area. Um, the city of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, they're having a show on April 2nd at the Columbia Science Center, which is in Encino. I think it's Encino. Oh. So we're going to sign up, or I myself, uh, I'm going to sign up for a table there and probably put a, a Commodore and an Amiga there on our one table with all the high school students or junior high school students flowing through the, that show on April 2nd. Uh, okay. Other than that, um, I'm not sure. It depends on the individuals on what they want to do with uh, your software and hardware. The individuals who are here. That, that yeah. Is. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I don't know. We, we I don't have know. real high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> Excitement was to me to talk to people like yourselves who are really in it and would be able to tell us, you know, what if it's 
worth pursuing anything else to do with them or you know I hate to say it just throw them away or, no, yeah. or you know uh, that's the thing because it's a lot to keep for no right. purpose right. I think uh, uh, four or five years ago or maybe longer you did a little research to see what uh, schools might be using commodores and I think you I found know. a couple of places really? that uh, they weren't, they weren't uh, near us. They weren't in Los Angeles. In, in the UK, at, in Northeast England, there is a school that's still using uh, C64s or VIC 20s wow. for uh, basic programming. But that's the only school I know of that, yeah. that is still using. found one in Canada, too. Oh, in they Canada? Wow. I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, so no, it's too long ago, obviously. <laughs> Today with the phones already, you know, you don't right. need the <laughs> Are there any questions for Wayne and Sonia guys, other than, you know, questioning about the software personally when we get over there to their software and hardware table? Any other general yeah. questions? Thank you, Wayne and Sonia, well, for coming on over. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much for Thanks. Thanks for having us. Sorry for coming in at times, but uh, we were still packing them yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. From Commodore. Yeah. That's crazy because I never, I never knew this. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. It wouldn't work for you, sir. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, there's a super exchanger in there somewhere. Yeah. Rico trackballs. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.